The product Nimapom has been specially developed for biological control of overwintering last insta larva of different codling moths like Sudia pomonella in apples and pears, Sunia funebrana in plums, Graffolita molesta in stone fruit, and other tortoiseida with similar life cycle. Codling moth has developed resistance against most chemical pesticides and now also against the Sudia pomonella granulosa virus. Thus, Nimapom is an excellent solution to avoid or delay resistance development. But why does this insect develop resistance so quickly? The reason is that larvae hardly take up enough chemical compounds during their life cycle. When they exit the egg, many insects first feed on the eggshell, not the apple codling moth. It immediately heads for the apple. During invasion of the apple, uh, one would expect the larva to swallow the material of the apple skin. However, not the codling moth. They only start ingesting the material when they are deep inside the apple, where they are not exposed to insecticides anymore. The product Nimapom does not control neither the adults nor the young larva. It controls the last instars, which exit the apple on the search for a hiding place to produce a cocoon before overwintering. Here we see a larva which is hiding below the bark of the apple tree trunk. These larva also go into the soil and start forming a cocoon and they use the material of the surrounding to include it in their cocoon. This cocoon is an excellent environment for nematodes to invade these larvae. The infective stages of these nematodes are so-called dour juveniles, infective juveniles, which enter the insects. Uh, the product Nimapom contains dour juveniles of the entomopathogenic nematode Steine nemafeltia. Uh, these nematodes come in this powder formulation and against Sudia pomonella, the codling moth, we apply 1.5 billion nematodes per hectare. Entomopathogenic nematodes are completely safe for the environment and they cannot infect humans, vertebrates or plants. Once these dow juveniles are sprayed, they immediately search for the insect and enter through natural openings, for example through the anus or through other natural openings like tracheal openings, which is seen here in this picture, or they enter through the mouse parts of the insect. The dower juveniles carry bacteria in their intestine. Once they have entered the insects, they make their way into the body cavity and release the bacteria and together the nematodes and the bacteria kill the insects within one or two days. The nematodes then feed on the bacteria and multiply. When the cadaver is consumed, they develop again to dower juveniles and then exit the cadaver as seen in this picture. The dower juveniles then go on search for new hosts. The nematodes are best applied after harvest when the larvae have cocooned or during spring before the larvae have pupated. How the uh, product is prepared for spraying. Um, if you open the box, uh, you will find a bag. Um, this bag contains the nematodes in a powder formulation and the complete bag uh, has a pro, uh, at least 500 million nematodes in one bag. Uh, the box also contains uh, instructions of use. Uh, we first of all dissolve the nematodes in a bucket full of water. So I've now dissolved 500 million in approximately 8 liter. Um, we can add another two bags and then we have the amount for one hectare. Application of the nematodes is with conventional spraying equipment. It is important to use a huge amount of water to establish the nematodes in the soil and on the tree trunk. To improve uh, the application at uh, the tree trunk and to get a better dispersing of the nematode suspension on the tree trunk, we can add wetting agents. Uh, this is one wetting agent, for example, new film, 
uh, that can be added to the suspension are also uh, from Germany, Trifulia S Forte, both uh, uh, products which are also allowed in organic farming. As we want to apply the nematodes to the soil and the up one meter of the tree trunk, we close the upper nozzles and only open the lower three nozzles of the sprayer and direct them to approximately one and a half meter height of the tree trunk. To apply the appropriate amount of water, we should use special nozzles which can apply up to 2000 liters per hectare. Using the mapom, what is important? First of all, the soil must be moist, apply after rain or after irrigation. The minimum amount of water should be 400 to 2000 liters per hectare. Second, in the tree trunk, moisture should prevail for a minimum of 5 hours. Therefore, spraying is recommended in the afternoon as humidity rises during the night. 3. Minimum temperature should be above 10 degrees Celsius. 4. Spraying should be in autumn after harvest or in spring before larva pupate. What are the advantages of using Nemapom? First of all, if during harvest a high damage is recorded, Nemapom can still be used over a long period of time until larva pupate in spring. Second, Nemapom reduces the spring population by 50 to 80 percent. It therefore supports well the mating disruption with pheromones which is successful only at low population density. The same is true for SIT, sterile insect technology. Nemopom can well be used to prevent the development of resistance in resistance management. And four, small scars due to stopped infections are prevented by the use of Nemopom. Nemopom, an excellent solution for IPM in fruit orchards.